In this week's court report, the embattled local attorney who is facing eight counts of animal abuse charges, including being over dog and cat limits and torture and cruelty to animals, had a bail warrant hearing on Monday. Nancy Lord then bailed out on Tuesday for $4,000 cash, according to Nye County Detention Center officials. Lord's home and land were foreclosed on, and an outside investor purchased the property during an auction. While in custody last week, Lord was ordered to vacate the premises within six days. Her neighbors on Peckstein Street say at one point, Lord had over 50 dogs on her property that were a public nuisance. A horse also died there, and dogs were reportedly seen eating the carcass. As part of a plea deal, Lord had agreed to relinquish ownership of her dogs to her domestic partner, but he was also arrested and has subsequently been released, according to NCDC. Animal control reps told News 46 Lord was seen as late as this morning on her property and at least 15 dogs are still with her there. Animal Control also says Lord's domestic partner recently signed over at least a dozen dogs, which allegedly angered Lord. As a warning to all who own animals, Animal Control also says many of Lord's dogs remain on the loose throughout town, and some confirmed cases of Parvo have been linked to animals on her property. Court clerks say Lord's next court date, a status hearing, is scheduled on Monday, April 25th. The man taken into custody after leading area police on a high-speed chase of up to 100 miles per hour had four separate court hearings on April 12th. Those proceedings for Aaron Scott Taylor were held exactly one week after Taylor was arrested following police officers' initial attempt to pull him over on Bell Vista near Simpkins. After nearly 20 minutes, police were finally able to pull Taylor over on a felony stop with officers' weapons drawn, during which time police discovered the suspect is wanted on multiple felony warrants out of Colorado that are extraditable. Taylor remains in custody at NCDC with a status hearing and preliminary hearing scheduled in Nye County Justice Court on May 11th. And another suspect who also led police on a dangerous high-speed chase stood before a judge on Wednesday to answer to his alleged crimes. Johnny Lotkes is accused of kidnapping his ex-girlfriend back on March 29th, taking her car, cell phone, and other belongings, then leading authorities in hot pursuit a few days later. Lotke's subsequent police chase resulted in a single vehicle rollover on Happy Lane between Charleston Park and Highway 372 on April 4th, after police followed him throughout the west side of town at a rate of 60 miles per hour. Lotke's reportedly lost control during a turn and rolled his car in a desert area. The 30-year-old suspect was the only occupant in the vehicle and sustained multiple injuries. Lotkes was taken into custody where he remains and was reportedly charged on April 8th with several felonies, including second-degree kidnapping, burglary, and robbery. He has pretrial and preliminary hearings set for May 4th. This has been your Court Report. I'm Yunette Gentry for News 46.